This review is going to be about the Wessex Berg F tuba. On their website, they have two different prices listed. See them on the screen. One is for silver, one is for gold lacquer, which is the one that I got. The specs on this bad boy are 15 inch bell, a granulated 7.7 to 8.3 bore, five rotary valves, the fifth is operated by your thumb, the height is 35 and a half inches, the weight is about 18 and a half pounds. I believe on their website it says that it's German grade brass and all handcrafted. It came to me in a hard case as it says on their page. I ordered this tuba on a Friday in June, got about a week and a half later. This is going to be my review. I'm not sponsored by Wessex unless they want to. So I'm going to be as brutally honest as I want. Let's get into the review. So just as a little thing before I get into the review, I have it set up on four different things. So I have sound of the tuba, playability, ergonomics, and how much I like it. Each one of those is going to be an out of 10. And then, well, there's no overall score. This is just my total review. For the sound of the Wessexburg on a scale of 1 to 10, it gets an 8. Uh, the reason for that is some of the notes, some of the mid-range notes can get a little stuffy. And uh, some of the mid-range notes could also get really sharp. That could also just be me. I've been told I play sharp sometimes. You know, every tuba player is different. But, you know, it's just I got to move a slide out once in a while. So, I mean, it's fine. It's just I'm nitpicky when it comes to a horn and intonation. You're probably wondering, oh, he's not going to have a playing test. Well, you're wrong. Playing test now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
So, for the playability of the Wessexburg, it gets a really good score, 9 out of 10. I freaking love to play that tuba. It has some... It's just, it's fantastic to play. You know, when I got it, you know, the day after I got it, because I got it at, like, 8.30 at night, right? The day after I got it, I played it for, like, seven and a half hours straight. I didn't even realize it. My family, you know, called me for dinner, and they're like, hey, you know, you've just been playing tuba all day. And I was like, oh, I really didn't even realize, man. My face isn't tired, you know? My hand isn't cramped. Like, nothing. Like, my legs didn't hurt from the weight. Nothing. It's just got some massive playability. The reason that I didn't give it a 10 out of 10, and that may change the more I play it, but I got super used to my big old Kaiser. This is 44, 44 and a half inches tall. It is massive, and it's a considerable amount wider. It is huge compared to the Wessexburg. I'll show a side-by-side -side picture. Um, now, I'm so used to the big tuba when I use a plain stand, because I use it a lot because it hurts my legs to keep a tuba on my lap for a long period of time. I am, I'm, I'm going to pin it, I'm lazy. I don't like to adjust the stand because I don't want to have to bend over with a tuba in my arms, potentially dropping it, you know, um, so I don't want to adjust it. I don't want to keep it on my lap, but I figured out a pretty good plan. I just keep the Wessex tuba on my lap because it weighs less than this because this weighs like 28 30 pounds this only weighs like 20 kinda so but that's like the only reason why to get a 10 out of 10 is because it's shorter and that may change it may go up to a 10 out of 10 the more I play it I've only had it um I think the time of recording this I've only had it about Two and a half weeks. So I haven't had it for very long. There's a whole lot of other stuff I can learn for it. So. Yeah. It gets a solid 9 out of 10. Alright. So on the ergonomics. This one gets. Solid 8 out of 10. Uh, loses 2 points in 2 areas. Number 1. I can't take the thumb ring off. Or I can't adjust the height. Or like the direction of it the angle sorry i can't adjust the angle of it which kind of upsets me i know other tubas like mac brass can i'm pretty sure the eastman tubas can i'm not a hundred percent i could be wrong uh, and the other thing that upsets me i don't know if you could see but i have to bring my hand up through the top right here to move the first slide i can't you know bring it through here to move it because it doesn't have the tab like some tubas, like uh, older tubas do, which would be nice. I could add, and I could probably take it to my repair guy near me and have him add that. But you know, that's a thing for a different day, and I can't, you know, very well do it through here because my hands are too big, you know. So I gotta come up through here, which I have a feeling most people do it like this. I don't know. I haven't really seen a whole lot of people use this tuba, so those are my only complaints. Other than that. 8 out of 10. So for the fourth and final aisle is the how much I like it. On a scale of 1 out of 10, it's a 7.5. There's a lot of good about this tube, a whole lot of good, but there's also some bad that really kind of kind of upsets me. But, you know, no tuba is going to be perfect. There's going to be something wrong. There's going to be an attitude. No, there's going to be a stuffy octave. There's going to be one thing or another that could be fixed. But, you know, all tubas are different. No tuba is built the same. So, would I recommend this tuba? Absolutely. 110%. I would recommend this tuba to professional colleagues I know who play in the Philharmonic here in my town. Like, I would recommend this to students I teach. Like, there are so many people I recommend this horn to. Is this going to be my only F-tuba? Maybe. Probably not. I love tuba. Eat, sleep, breathe it, you know? I'm probably going to buy more. Maybe from Wessex. Maybe from other companies. Maybe uh, this will be my only one. Probably not. I really like to collect horns. <laughs> you know? 
but for right now, it's perfect. I absolutely 110% recommend this tuba. Thank you.